What is up you guys and welcome back to Hype Geek, the show where we celebrate hype and me just geeking the heck out of things. My name is Colin and today we have a very special episode. Special for two reasons. One, this is probably one of the first few uh, videos I'm making in 2020. So uh, if you've been watching past couple of videos, uh, particularly the Hong Kong shopping videos, and I'm going to be uploading hopefully the Osaka videos as well. Those were shot during 2019. And of course, uh, you are also watching this at UnGeek's channel right now. So there's going to be a regular thing. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to uh, keep the pace and uh, be regular at it. And number two is that, uh, well, aside from the box that you're seeing here, uh, this video actually was requested by a very good friend of mine. Uh, he is getting married and I am making a sort of vlog about it, uh, particularly because it revolves around sneakers. Hmm. So what I have here with me, as you can see, is a Yeezy 350 box and uh, inside is one of the pickups I made during 2019. It's one of the last few pickups. Um, I, I made during uh, 2019 and this one is the Yeezy 350 V2 Yeezy Reel. So yep, it's the one that I've been waiting for for the whole 2019. I've been wanting to get my hands on it and uh, yeah, I was able to get one but not actually during uh, the local drop. This was actually bought by a good friend of mine in Japan. It was sitting in Japan. Uh, Apparently, that's the best thing about Yeezys right now. If you are into Yeezys, go out of the country when they do drop and uh, the chances of you actually getting it there is really, really high. Uh, he was able to get this maybe around three weeks after it dropped and it was just sitting on shelves. Hence, I have one. So shout out to Lee. Thank you so much for this. Uh, maraming, maraming, maraming salamat. Of course, the downside of getting uh, any shoe outside of the country is that it is a little bit more pricey than uh, than what we have here so the retail of this is 28,000 yen which is around 14,000 pesos so a thousand pesos more than the 13,000 srp price list that we have so well what can you do right so why am i putting this out uh, i am going to a wedding of a friend of mine and i am going to be using this as my main shoe um yep rubber shoes on a formal occasion uh, I'm gonna try to make this work. Uh, this is actually going to be a really interesting video for me as well. I'm gonna try and make Yeezys look dapper. So here we go. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because we are outing more and more videos here at ungeek.ph. Uh, it's not just about uh, hype stuff that we're showing. Of course, we have anywhere from tech, uh, video games, um, anime stuff as well geek culture it's all here at ungeek.ph so please if you have not subscribed yet and you're watching this for the first time do subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell as well that is super going to help us out so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be bringing this to my first fitting um, i am going to check out the suit apparently it's a light gray color and i might pair it with i don't know something a little bit lighter inside i think the requirement is a white polo Something like this. So I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the polo that I'm going to be using or the button down that I'm going to be using, but it's going to be something like this. Um, it's very interesting because uh, the, the, the motif is actually very, very casual. So I'm part of the entourage and uh, we are not required. In fact, we should not be wearing any necktie. <laughs> uh, I'm down with that. The more casual, the better, but we are going to be trying to make it look super, super dapper and that is going to be the challenge for this video part of the video as well is i'm going to be showcasing some of the sneakers that uh the other guests will be uh wearing or will be rocking again i'd like to wish peter and claude a uh, happy wedding and uh marriage ceremony and i can't wait to see you guys tie the knot and uh, i can't wait to see your outfits and i can't wait to rock this with the suit so uh with that Come with me, we'll check out the suit, and then uh, we'll check everyone else as well.
So, uh, yeah, day of the wedding. Here we go. Um, getting this ready, and then I have my bowl already here. Um, and then there's like a bunch of stuff that I'm bringing. Uh, I might use this pocket square. So, again, the idea is really just to match the laces with a lot of the mint green stuff. So I don't want to go all yellow, so the yellow would pop. Actually, it's like a little bit of green, yellow. Um, let's see if that actually works amidst the gray. The suit is not here yet. Uh, we are getting that in uh, Shangri-La in the venue. So um, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Fun fact, I'm also actually bringing a money gun. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but it might be fun to use it later. So the perfume for the day is Comme des Garçons Clash Radish Vetiver. I am such a vetiver guy. Um, I love it because it's really really small look at that just for size difference uh, It's 30 ml though, and I can actually just bring this Anywhere um, it does cost quite a bit. It's like 3,200 at Comme des Garçons But of course uh, the great thing about it is well you smell good Kaya sabi nga ni Carlo, aanhin mo ang maraming sapatos kung amoy ka naman pa So invest in uh, nice perfumes as well uh, Just don't go overboard like I did like Yes. Yes. What are you wearing? What are you wearing, sir? I'm wearing a uh, Nike Air Force One tie. <laughs> They're like so uh, off white. <laughs> Feeling off white, sila. <laughs> <Yon. laughs> No, 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 So what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I'm wearing a Jerry Lorenzo today. All right. If you've got rates. Yeah, my face is on the gas, sorry. What are you wearing, wow. Pao? Jordan yeah. 6. Jordan yeah, 6. Infrared. What's so special about this? And why did you dream shoe? Yeah. And it also wow. has Nike. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. First day. Yeah. 1991. <laughs> so wearing Corolla socks. 
na parang nice, supreme. Nice, nice. Na fake supreme. Ang ganda! Peter, thank you so much. Amazing wedding. Good, uh, good call on the sneakers. You are wearing the what are we wearing? Easy seven hundred. Easy seven hundred static. Sorry, easy seven hundred V two. Nice. All right, okay. But but okay. Because I know the easy seven hundred static just you know jumped up in price. Trust me on this one. Uh, really cheap alternative that has almost the same look. Try to watch out for the Puma RSX Cube <laughs> puzzle in green. Look it up. Trust me on it. Great alternative. <laughs> I don't nice. know what just happened, but yeah, it happened. Nice, 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 man. That's basically it. It's really just playing around with a lot of colors. The Yeezy Yeez Reel is predominantly yellow-green and you can see that in the upper and it bleeds through the midsole. But there is one sort of green tint that stands out which is on the laces. It has a nice mint green feel to it. Uh, if you look at everything as a whole, it's very very seamless. So what I did with this styling is that I made use of that mint green color and sort of mimicked it around also on the suit. The light gray actually helps tone down the really loud color and the white shirt also subdues everything out but the shoe still stands out and everything blends seamlessly. And that's it! That's basically how I styled my Yeezy 350V2 Yeez Reel at uh, my good friend Peter's wedding. Uh, shout out to the happy couple. Congratulations Peter and Claude and thank you so much for uh, a really interesting theme, you know, having everyone there in sneakers, seeing everyone bringing in their A-game and bringing in their most hype kicks. And it's nice to touch base again with people I haven't seen for the longest time and figuring out that they're also sneaker enthusiasts. So yay, yay! And with that, let me know in the comment section down below um, if you find this helpful, if you want more of this, more style guides, I guess. I will try to create more. Um, if you agree or disagree with me, it's fine. Just let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any suggestions as well or like if you have any interesting stories of how you paired your hype kicks with a not athleisure wear. So let me know in the comment section down below. And if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do so. We are outing more and more videos. Remember, Hype Geek comes out every 7.30 p.m. Thursday nights. And if you miss some of the old videos, there's always Hype Geek Rewinds at 5.30 p.m. every Saturday. And if you watch until here, maraming 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 salamat po. My name is Colin, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, Hype Peeps. Keep it real. Wow.